In this video, I'm going to run through a couple of interesting AR UX jobs that I found, AR UI jobs that I found um, that you might find interesting. And also just to show you what's there on the market, what these companies are looking for. I'm going to show you a job from Apple. I'm going to show you what Facebook's looking for um, and a couple of others like Amazon, eBay, etc. So recently I put out a video where I talked about the fact that I think that for UX and UI designers over the next five years, there's gonna be a massive opportunity to those designers who have a good understanding of how to design for augmented reality platforms. What I didn't do in that previous video is present or show you the types of jobs that are actually out there right now, today, for designers, for UX designers specializing in AR. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you a couple of jobs, a couple of job descriptions. We're gonna run through them. All right, let's just jump straight into it. I wanna show you this job from Apple. UX prototyper for AR applications. First of all, that sounds really, really fun. And I want to do that job immediately. Uh, I think a job a lot of people would like. The interesting thing is that this job is still open. Like this job can still be applied for. So obviously they have a lot of positions for this. And the first time it was posted was back in 2019, right? So even my AR video was late. So. Let's read through this. Let's have a look at what the key kind of things that they're looking for and what this job is actually about. So in the role of the UX prototyper, you'll wear many hats. You'll have the opportunity to chip in or lead the design work of initiatives at many different stages of the product. I'm trying to look here. This team is working with some of Apple's most advanced technologies, including augmented reality, virtual reality, machine learning, and computer vision as a member of our blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's not really going into a lot. We need a designer who loves to leverage both engineering and creative skills and would collaborate with uh, senior 3D artists. That's one of the things about AR design is, um, you know, we've had to learn things like Unity. We've had to learn 3D tools, which we've never had to look at before. And, you know, if you're interested, we can show you how we do that on our channel. Uh, just let me know in the comments if you want to know like how to design AR interfaces. But it's something interesting that a lot of UX designers haven't had to had to do before. You need to be great at zooming from the big picture thinking to detail design and love doing both. You'll be involved in initial project kickoffs. Good to know workshops for this. General look, this is pretty general. This is just saying like you'll be doing stuff at Apple. Now, here are the key qualifications, and these are the things you might want to um, actually read up on. Um, so I'm going to go through the ones that I think are the most interesting. So you have excellent, okay, you have excellent interpersonal and inspiration skills. That's an interesting one. Experience with any of the following is a plus. And when they say it's a plus, it means you better learn that before you go into the interview. Um, NUI, VR, AR, game design, interesting, art direction, video and storytelling. And if I'm looking at a job that's called UX prototyper for AR applications, I sure as hell I'm gonna read up about AR um, and how to create uh, interfaces um, and, and prototypes for AR applications. And especially in this case, if I'm going to Apple, I'm going to know my shit when it comes to AR kit, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go in there not knowing about AR kit. InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator, and uh, again, like I mentioned, Unity or Unreal. And like, I would, if I was reading this job ad, I would be like, okay, okay, okay. These are the things I'm gonna make sure I really um, read up on. Now, this is the bit, this is the bit which is kind of new for a UX prototyper. It's interesting because I actually had to learn a couple of these in college. Now, strong 3D design. This is the difference between just straight up UX uh, and when it comes to something like UX or AR prototyping, uh, UX and AR require some knowledge of 3D design tools. And I, for example, um, took a class, I think, you know, maybe probably 12 years ago where I learned how to use Maya. Um, Final Cut's pretty easy to pick up. Um, but yes, yeah, Cinema 4D, all of these things, like you don't have to know exactly how to use all of them. But, you know, this is a time where there's also something called Blender. This is a time where I think UX designers coming into the AR world are going to be expected to know this kind of software. Uh, motion graphics, 3D graphics, special effects or animation. These, again, are things that, you know, I didn't have to learn as a UX designer just to make apps. But this different world of AR requires these things. So you can see here. This is where, these are where the big differences are between just a straight up, you know, making an app job and applying for something in AR. 
Um, I'm going to show you here as well. They talk about Unity, Unreal again. Um, this is really, really interesting because this is something we just haven't seen so much. Um, and then it's just telling you what you're actually going to do. Producing engaging, um, engaging experiences using sketches, storyboards, information architecture, blueprints, prototypes. Every company does this in a different way. So it's difficult to actually prepare yourself for this because every company has their own way of doing storyboards, their own way of doing sketching, their own way of doing information architecture blueprints. So it's obviously good to know like how these things are done in general. On our channel, we show you a lot of these, um, but don't worry about knowing the exact thing before going into an interview like this. Um, really exciting. I would love to uh, apply for, for this job. So another job in this uh, space, and now Facebook, I mentioned in the previous video, Facebook are really one of the companies leading the drive when it comes to AR and VR. And, you know, they bought Oculus. They're also working on a secret AR headset, which, uh, you know, Facebook and Apple are sort of competing on creating the kind of platform for that. Um, product design manager, AR, VR input explorations. So this is more of a managerial position. Um, let me just go straight uh, down to the actual responsibilities. So lead a design team in the research, design and prototyping in Unity. There we go again. So... Unity and Unreal are kind of the de facto um, software programs or software platforms right now where, I mean, we've basically only been using Unity for any of this. Like we haven't um, used uh, Unreal yet, but Unity and Unreal are right now the places where I see the majority of these AR uh, programs being created. We've only worked on a, for a client on a VR project. We had also did that in Unity. Um, so yeah, that, that's immediately being made very clear. Unity is going to be something you want to learn. And it's not like, I mean, this is actually a, um, this is a quite a, a senior role. So you'll have to really know how to use Unity in this case. But I'm just showing you the types of jobs that are out there. Oh, this is in Seattle. So um, yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things. Uh, that's one of the most clear uh, bullet points when it comes to the actual specific technical skills you're going to need. Everything else is something that you're going to be able to build up with uh, experience, like collaboration skills, um, all of that kind, of, all of that kind of stuff. Here we go again. Uh, Unity or Unreal. You know how many more times? Uh, I mean, I'm 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 gonna just keep repeating that when these AR UX jobs come out. Um, Unity on, uh, and Unreal, I just, you know, you can learn these things using YouTube. Not on our channel right now, um, but on a lot of other channels. Maybe we'll even put some links down below. Um, and, and let me know down below if there's any like free courses or anything on Unity that, that you found interesting. Yeah. Um, at least one VR product in your portfolio, which is, which is kind of interesting. That's a chicken and egg problem, right? It's difficult to, uh, it's difficult to actually, uh, by the way, I have a friend working in the VR department of Facebook. Um, and you know, he also did some personal projects, you know, like buying the VR headset and making his own stuff. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have done that for a client. Um, yeah. So anyway, whatever gamer interact, it's interesting how much game development and game design is coming into this whole AR thing, but it makes total sense. Okay. So let's have a look at uh, eBay. So uh, the reason I pulled this one up is because it's just saying visual designer. But if you actually read into the description, you really quickly see that. So visual designer, I mean, this is one of those, you know, ads where it basically tells you, you have to be everything, but you know, that's also people have high expectations of designers these days. So your key responsibilities are to craft compelling design vocabulary, mood, and visual style for eBay. Visual designers are specialists with a passion for title, blah, 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 AR and VR. So they're immediate, they're already, they're just piling all of this stuff up, but they're already making it clear that they're going to be expecting people to have an understanding of how AR and VR design works. And especially for a company like this. Now they don't go into it as clearly as, um, Apple and Facebook and, and, and the next one I'm going to show you, but they do, you know, po point out that they do want you to know. And, and by the way, they they want in, in this job title, they're just focusing on the things you probably already know. If you follow this channel, like Figma sketch, uh, keynote, etc. Um, the basics of, of, uh, UI design. Um, here's an interesting one. So over at Amazon, um, they are 
very specifically talking about the fact that they're looking for people to help on the AR team. Um, when it, and, and again, look, you know, the things, so design technologist, visual search and augmented reality. Um, the, the visual search team is, you know, a team that's uh, basically, you know, pointing the camera at something and then giving you some results. Um, and also uh, visual search can also be seen as something like you see in Pinterest, where it's like you tap on an object, it, it figures out what that object is and shows you other things related to it. Um, once again, they're talking about Unity. I mean, I'm just trying to show you very clearly that these AR, VR jobs in the UX world need you to understand the basics of Unity because Unity is where a lot of this stuff is being built. Um, and as I said last time, you know, if you're going to apply to these jobs, it's also good to know some of the key platforms, especially the mobile platforms for AR, um, like ARKit for Apple and Core um, for Google. Yeah, so this is just another one. I mean, this was a really quick search for AR jobs and I thought these four um, were kind of interesting and just like, hey, let, let's show you what's out there. So yeah, there's a lot of, th th this is just a very, this was like my first, let's have a quick look. And I was just, um, I was focusing on um, in California, somehow it showed a Seattle one. Um, but there are a ton, a ton of AR jobs out there. And the cool thing, and the thing I mentioned before, and I've no, I mean, I get nothing out of this. I'm not trying to sell anything here. There's very little competition for jobs that involve things that people don't really know about yet. So there, if you're just looking for a straight up UX job, you know, you're competing with all the UX designers who've had 10 years to train on how to be UX designers. If you're going for something that's a bit more bespoke, a bit more specific, like this AR slash UX slash UI um, role, then you're just in a space where it's it's kind of new. I, th I think it's going to get very popular over the next, you know, three to five years. Watch the previous video. I'll put it up here um, if you didn't see it already, where I just lay out why I think it's going to be so important. Um, yeah, but I, I, I just find these, I think these jobs are super interesting. These AR, VR, um, UX, I know it's a lot of uh, acronyms, AR, VR, UX, AR. <laughs> um, but I, I think there's a lot of really interesting things in there um, for people to learn and for, for, you know, people to nerd out about. And let me know if you're working in the VR, AR space. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're excited about it. Let me know if you like this new uh, YouTube setup. Let me know if this kind of lo-fi, just me talking to the camera approach is something you also like. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we hopefully by the time this video comes out, we've already hit 100K subscribers, but we always like a lot of people watching this channel haven't subscribed yet. It really does help us. It helps other people discover us. If you hit the subscribe button, um, you know, hit the like button. It really helps the algorithm and helps other people find us. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope I, I just wanted to do another one of these quick AR VR videos, and goodbye. Oh, I should maybe turn off my Slack when I'm. Maybe I won't turn off my Slack. I'll just see who I got a message from. <laughs> All right, Callum sending me a message about setting up the YouTube thing. Anyway. You and goodbye. Um, I hope you like my new setup, by the way.